Build your dream home gym. Are you subscribed? You can do it now. Thank you. Enjoy watching. Setting up a home gym can help you progress towards your health and fitness goals when you need the convenience of working out from home. There are plenty of ways to build a home gym, and you don't need a lot of space or lots of equipment. One of the most important things to consider when working out at home is to make sure your home gym is set up to inspire, motivate, and allow you to get the most out of your workouts. Having your home gym set up properly means ensuring you have the equipment and space you need to easily work out whenever you want. 1. Your fitness goal will determine your equipment needs and space. When you first start planning to work out from home, think about what type of exercise you're planning to do and how often. Ask yourself, what type of exercise do I enjoy most? Your answer can help you start to plan for how big of a space you'll need and what type of equipment you'll use most. Maybe you enjoy yoga and your goal is to practice more, so what does that involve? Likely, a mat, space to move on the mat, yoga blocks, straps and maybe a way to watch online yoga videos. Maybe your favorite exercise is a HIIT workout alternating between running sprints and weights. So you'll need to think about what weights you need and if you'll run outside or on a treadmill. You should also consider if your area lends itself to the space you need for the movements. 2. Find the right space. Where you set up your home gym is going to vary based on what exercises you're planning to do and how much equipment you have. You can convert a spare bedroom, a garage or create a space in the basement. Your backyard, driveway or even a small corner in the living room can all make decent spaces to exercise. Determine if you'll need a mat or if you'll need to put down foam tiles to protect your floors and your joints, depending on your exercise. 3. Add equipment as you go. It can be tempting to buy all of the fancy equipment up front when you're feeling motivated, but it's smarter to add a little at a time, especially when you're figuring out the space and how often you're going to use your gym. You don't have to buy everything all at once. Start off with a few things you know you'll use right away and build from there. Your home gym should be customized to you. Stock it with items you know you'll use. If you find you've been consistent with using your gym or if you're getting stronger and need heavier weights, that's when you should make your next purchase or splurge on something more expensive. 4. What home gym equipment do you need? Sure pelotons are nice, but if you're not really into spinning, you're not likely to use it that often. If you hate running, a treadmill probably isn't the best investment. And if you've never done a bicep curl before, it's better to start with a resistance band than purchase expensive new dumbbells. Whatever type of exercise you plan to do, and whatever you can see yourself doing long-term, will determine what equipment you'll need in the beginning. 5. Keep variety in mind. When it comes to exercise, consistency is important, but so is variety. Solid workout plan involves a good mix of cardio and strength training, but that doesn't mean you need to train for a marathon or bench press 150 pounds. Everything comes down to what your fitness or weight loss goals are and what type of workouts you're planning to do. Cardio can mean anything from running and biking to jumping jacks and kickboxing. For strength training, body weight exercises, free weights or resistance bands can all be beneficial. Whatever workout you plan to do at home, try to mix in a combination of cardio and strength training that works for you and your goals. 6. 
Pay attention to lighting. You don't have to blast your workout space with the kind of overhead light you'd find in a commercial gym. Installing layers of lighting with multiple fixtures, and using dimmers to control those fixtures, can create a more inviting atmosphere and allow light levels to be adjusted for various activities. And because it's a home gym, you can choose fixtures you'd never see in a commercial gym, like chandeliers, pendants and sconces. Depending on the height of the gym space, the main lighting could be a beautiful chandelier, or it could be a subtle flush mount. 7. Stick with a plan. It can be hard to stay motivated to work out, especially at home. For some people, working out from home takes more discipline than actually taking the time to go to the gym. When you're home, there are so many other things that can take the place of exercise. So it's really important to find exercises that you like to do and to have some sort of plan going into each workout. 8. Tips for creating your home gym on a budget. Source second-hand items. Buy bundled items. Invest in versatile equipment. Skip equipment altogether. 9. Finish it off. Using furniture and accessories that make it easy to keep your gym clean and tidy, and complete your workout without interruptions, will help you stick with an exercise routine. If you'll have foam rollers, resistance bands or boxing gloves, think about where those items will live when you're not using them. Cabinetry and case goods are ideal, but even a group of baskets on the floor can help. Adding a bench, stool or chair provides a place to catch your breath between exercises, as well as a spot to throw a towel. And if you like watching TV or listening to music while you work out, and you don't plan to use a portable speaker or headphones, add audiovisual equipment to the room.